Hello, 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 Kevin Epps here, Digital Brand Sour, with another quick tutorial. First off, just want to say uh, sorry I haven't been around for a few weeks. First of all, I had vacation. Second of all, we're still in the session of DBH, the DBH workshop. We have like, I guess, three and a half weeks left, so been real attentive to that. Um, I've been storing up quite a few videos. I just haven't really had time to upload them yet uh, but I wanted to do something really quick in in my studies and uh, just something I just realized after having this tool for such a long time um, but I, I do want to give you some expectations of what's coming in the future uh, number one uh, some videos coming in the future are how to create enemies from sprite sheets enemies are a lot easier to create than players um, and you can take the same approach with uh, Mugen models as well. Um, also, I, I, I'm going to unveil a new series called Grow With Me, where you know all the experience that I am gaining from working with OpenBOR through building Ogres Mayhem and, and working with the students and building this game. I've uh, been learning a lot, you know. Been going through the tools, been going through the manual, been going through Chrono Crash, uh, just been, you know, pulling in resources from all over, from other games that have been built. You know, we have a very wide pool of talented developers and engineers who have been developing games. So been able to pull information from from them, even uh, Turtle, uh, the, the, the Shredders, Shredders Revenge TMNT game, been getting inspiration from that. You know, just how to make just how to make this game better um, and just been learning a lot so there will be quite a few videos they're going to be a lot longer than my normal videos because again learning actually takes time I know that I you know create these videos and you know it just seems like okay alright done within 15 minutes great alright learn but to be completely honest to, to learn takes a little bit more time than that it's, it's not a 15 minute process so I am going to be kind of recording that process, a journal, if you will, of me just growing. I may not be able to catch every moment because sometimes it's easier for me to just go in and, you know, learn and then maybe record something afterwards. But for the most part, I'm going to try to capture my learning experience and, and how I tackle certain things uh, that relate to Ogre's Mayhem and also other topics uh, that you guys have brought up. So I uh, just wanted to make sure you were aware of that. That'll be coming soon, probably in the June area. Uh, the workshop ends on June 15th. So pretty sure after that time frame, some time is going to open up where I'll be able to uh, you know, upload more content. Um, hopefully I can have some stuff before the 15th. But I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I have more time to do things after the 15th right now since uh april the first week of april you know i've been juggling quite a bit and also trying to get these videos out and things of that nature so um finally i have a moment where i wouldn't ha won't have to juggle as much although i still have life so that's just what it is but yeah i appreciate you guys for always uh standing by and, and watching these tutorials but i just wanted to i think i just owed it to you guys to just make to ensure that you knew what was going on uh, didn't seem like I was leaving you hanging and what's coming up in the future because you know you deserve to know all right so this is going to be a quick little tutorial here and not really a tutorial it's just something I found out and figured out to be completely honest um because I always so I was creating a bunch of projectile and effects models and uh you know in the way I kept going about it I was going into the main screen right clicking and clicking add and character entity and I kept choosing obstacle because that was kind of closest to what I needed and then I created you know I just changed the type and all of that and created the model from there but what I realized and I was like hey I wonder I wonder if I can create my own template and then just load that template up instead of you know doing all the changing and so uh, apparently you can this is something I should have known from the beginning, but this was the first time I thought about looking for it. So uh, actually, if you are in OpenBOR stats and you go into the res folder, 
of that of that tool and there's entity templates right here where you can actually create your own template so they already had enemy npc obstacle and player i just created the projectile because that's something i'm going to be using a lot so um when when i'm creating these i can do that easy easily from uh from the open bor stats tool instead of having to do it uh having to do it manually so if we look i'm just gonna open up projectile here so we have the full name that's uh from let's see if i can this real quick all right there we go so here is the here is the 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 wizard screen or the form for adding the entity. So you have name, which is actually going to be called the full name. Full name is what pulls in the information from this name field. And then you have uh, the icon for this particular. Uh, well, it's commented out, so you don't necessarily need it. But icon um, for this particular model. Then you have the uh, animation of idle that has a loop, 120, offset 11, and the frame of the uh, data and the name. And again, the name is pointing to this name. Uh, full name and name is, is essentially the same thing, but uh, it's pulling from this field here and uh, data uh, and the output directory is, is basically uh, point. This output directory that you set here is your data. So output directory, then the name, then the actual PNG file that, that gets loaded. So this is what's uh, created initially uh, right off the bat as soon as you click add. And then you can choose. And actually, I might it might show up here. Yep, already shows up because I already created it. I had opened up the tool well before I created the template. And so uh, when I, I didn't even have to reopen the template as soon as I tried to create a new entity it showed up so and it loads up just fine I, I, I actually show you a quick example um, really quick so let me uh, look at my list of okay so we we'll already did 1403 we'll do let's do 7707 I'll do this so this would be a another hit. We'll do kin hit. This is what we're going to call it. Uh, this is for one of our models, Kimpachi, and his transformation. So I'm just going to copy the whole animation, in, including the delay and off uh, offsets that have been uh, added here. So we got the uh, got this information. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I can leave this open. So I'm going to right click, add character entity choose the project uh, project.txt I'll keep it the no for right now and I'm going to name it Ken hit so I'm putting everything in this uh, miscellaneous effects uh, folder and so I have everything here so I'm just gonna go ahead and click add it's gonna uh, uh, tell me to reload the project so I need to go to models and none because this should be a none type model and if I scroll down, there should be a kin hit created. So it already has, again, everything inside of this template already for the character details. So I don't really need to. It gives me enough to get started with. Um, most of these, I don't have to worry about redoing this uh, character details area. So you got type none, shadow zero and alpha one. And then if I go to the idle, you can then see the loop one, 120 offset. Again, here's the folder that is stored in the name and the uh, zero zero dot PNG. But I'm just going to get rid of this so I could just overwrite this, paste this in for now. Go back to frames. Bam. All right, done. And then save. There's still some other stuff that I need to tweak, but I just wanted to make sure you were aware that you can create your own templates uh, because for some reason I was not aware. Uh, maybe I just didn't pay attention like I should have. All right, but anyway, uh, hopefully this was uh, helpful for you. Um, again, there will be a whole lot more coming. Just like I said, just got a lot to juggle and um, get past and 
you'll start seeing more hopefully um in the next week or so for sure uh i should be able to start uploading more probably uh probably the next week or so yeah it's de definitely june for sure but we're, we're actually about to approach june anyway so again uh, i appreciate you guys for for watching and hopefully this this was uh helpful to you guys uh again this is kevin epps hope you stay blessed and stay brilliant peace we hope you're learning what you can from these free tutorials Again, if you feel you need more in-depth or extensive services or extra help with learning and getting the most out of this and don't want to wait on the videos, please feel free to join our DBH community for only $5. That doesn't mean you can't ask questions on here though. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post those. Like and share this playlist for those who may need it. At the end of the day, we just want to help people build their engineering and coding skills to be efficient wherever they want to go. I'm Kevin. Appreciate you watching and be brilliant. Peace.